how satyagrahi one who insists or who continues on the path of truth how the person uh, doesn't get defeated so there are two things that i learned from that lesson that one that the path has to be non violent path and uh, one should not give up hope uh, hope uh, and stay on the path of truth and if one does not accept defeat is not scared not afraid uh, then the person is always there with that truth and with the struggle so as long as the struggle continues uh, the person is never defeated uh, when there was a big march through the parliament almost 6 7 lakh people were there so uh, with, with my group of friends in uh, iit about 20 of them we also participated in that march from uh, red fort to the parliament so there i could again see the strength of non violent struggle that 6 lakh people 7 lakh people marching from uh, 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 red fort to the parliament and not a single incidence of violence Uh, so that was my involvement, and then at Ramlila Maidan, when JP gave the speech, when after which uh, uh, this was uh, emergency was declared, when JP gave a call, uh, people, uh, army and police is committed to the constitution and not to the government in power, not to the party in power or person in power. Uh, so in that meeting also, I was there at Ramlila Maidan. so partic- uh, participation in the jp movement was uh, th- started when i d- went to iit in mtech their women had never gone to panchayat women uh, w- used to walk through the village without any slippers or without any footwear so all those conditions existed there uh, in 1987 so then manisha uh, and I, we organized manisha organized women in a meeting they said okay, why not hold this meeting in panchayat uh, building is panchayat only for men uh, so they said for the first time uh, uh, we are entering a panchayat building so that was the first time women entered a panchayat building so all these changes we started saying so then uh, 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 the illicit liquor was being uh, consumed and a lot of viol- women connect violence um, means uh, intensification of violence uh, to alcoholism so this we should stop this uh, illicit liquor in the villages because it's easily available so there also women got uh, organized and it was all non violent struggle uh, that the village had to sit together and make a resolution that there will be no sale of illicit liquor in the village but it didn't last for long <laughs> but at least that struggle was there and that's where uh, that violence was seen so uh, that's when we started uh, para legal training and then started the counseling centers ah uh, we have seen evidence and many different methods have also women have and there is uh, people women also see people see advantage of uh, non violence and uh, uh, normally it is said that uh, uh, there w- will be lesser violence uh, by women but it's not biological Uh, but uh, everyone the strength of non violent struggle is that everyone uh, who is not physically strong who doesn't have arms they can participate in the struggle biggest challenge that i see is that people should not lose faith in non violent struggles and fear fear is one thing because if uh, uh, people get afraid of an oppressive regime Uh, then they can't fight then they even uh, non uh, it gets difficult to uh, carry on the struggle in spite of all this whatever is going on uh, we have to continue our struggle and we should not be afraid and that lot of inner strength is required and non violent struggle also gives that inner strength today constitutional values are under threat and the whole concept of india is under threat and that young people are realizing and we see uh, that amongst young people that there is lot of unrest there is since there are not all the young people but there are different young people